Hello, Mario. AutoCAD Basic 5.3, Grip Editing A. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, in this video, we're going to look at Grip Editing A. <laughs> so funny. Alrighty, so let's uh, just head on over to... Uh, to AutoCAD before this gets out totally out of hand. So uh, let's open the file facade am.drawing. Uh, oh, I'll open it from here today. Uh, no, I won't. Uh, I'll open it from here. Facade.m. There it is. Facade. Facade, I should say. Facade. Um, am dot drawing that doesn't look quite like what I'm looking at here. Um, okay, or oh, is it fence? No, that's the right one. Okay, oh, perhaps that is it. Okay, um, open. Perhaps it's not quite what it seems come on there we go all right okay all right yep yeah. okay all right now uh, yes okay uh set up object snaps endpoint midpoint intersection oh turn it on first endpoint midpoint and intersection we'll turn off quadrant for now, and we'll turn off nearest, and uh, there we go, according to that, uh, toggle object snap on, toggle polar tracking off, and dynamic input needs to be on, and polar tracking needs to be off, okay, now, with no command active, select the double door, I'm picking that's the double door there yeah no command active um select the grip to make it hot oh yes there it is it's hot now red move the door to the midpoint of the bottom line of the building midpoint there we go done okay repeat step three with the arched window and place the grip at the midpoint of the top of the door. Okay, so select, make it hot, move it, move it, and put it over the door, like so. Okay, but it doesn't fit. So I'm picking, I'm just turning the page now. Select the square window. Yep, so we select the square window and select the grip. Right click, move. Okay, and then right click again and select copy. Oh, that's not okay. So let's uh. That doesn't seem right. Select the square window. Selected it. Select. Select the grip. Yep. Right click. Move. Okay. Then right click again. Right click again. And select copy. Okay. Select the intersection of the blue center lines to place. Now, where's that window going? Um, let me see. Uh, I need to go back to the diagram. Okay. Oh, I see. And is that where the windows go? There, maybe. Boom. 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 Oh, yes, like so. 
Oh, and there's four windows over here. I think that's what we're doing. Let's just check back and uh, hit the space bar and that'll finish that all off. Okay, so back over the page. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Erase the light blue center line. So let's click that. 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 Oh, the center lines. Perhaps it, I don't know whether we're... That's a center line. That's a center line. That's a center line. That's a center line. Um, now, hang on. Have I got the windows in the right place? They do seem to be up. Yeah, no, they seem to be right. So I'm going to delete those. Um... Okay, I'll just maybe leave those ones there. Select the four angled lines of the roof. Uh, erase the light blue center line. So, oh well, I'm, they're going to go too. Sorry. I think they're light blue. Anyway, delete. Okay, um, I don't know if that window should be over there. Okay, um, of the roof. Okay, so the four angled lines of the roof. Yes, okay. Select the grip at the right end of one of the lines. The right end, yes. Okay. All right. Select and uh, mirror. Ah, oh, okay. Select the grip. At the right end of one of the lines okay and then uh, right click and select mirror okay okay and mirror then right click again and select copy Okay, select the midpoint of the roof line as the second point for the mirror line. And, um, no, that's not right. Okay, control Z, let's have a undo that. So we select these four lines here, which we've done. All good, like so, yep. Okay, select the four angled lines of the roof. Select the grip at the right end of one of the lines, which I've done there. Yep. Okay, right click and select mirror. Okay. Then right click again and select copy. Right click again and select copy. And select the midpoint of the roof line as the second point. Okay. And press escape twice to finish. Okay. All right. So, yeah. oh, there you go. Uh, escape twice to finish. Select the center top window in the top row and select the center top window in the top row we didn't actually get one of those did we oh, oh okay I've missed out a window here so I'm going to I'm going to have to put that in there, uh, move that there, and I'm going to have to turn on, try and turn on that there, and I'm going to try and put that there, oh, no, 
Uh, so I want to copy that. Copy. Uh, and I'm going to move that across there like that. From there up to there, there. Okay, that'll put that in there. All right, now, sorry about that. We're back in business. Um, select the center top mirror in the thing there. All right. Select the um, uh, right click and select base point. Hmm, where's that? Um, uh, I can't see a base point there. Um, I think I've misread something here. Okay, so select the window. Right click again. No, select the center top window in the top row and select the grip. Okay, there's the grip. Select that right click right click and select base point oh there we go okay for the base point select the intersection of the mullions at the center of the window which is there okay and right click again and select rotate and 40 okay now um, rotate and for the rotation angle type 45 degrees okay so that's done that there select the window grip again okay and change the base point to the center of the mullion. So we go right click, base point to the center of the mullions. And then we right click and select scale. And then we go 0 0.7, enter. Okay. And then press escape to finish. Okay, and that's our little uh, window um, in there. Select the arch window above the door. Okay, like so. And select the grip. Right click. Right click. Scale. And for the scale factor type 0 0.65. 0 0.65. Enter. And then escape to finish. Okay, select the bottom line. Select the bottom line along the base of the building. Hover the cursor over the grip at either end point to display the dimension. What is the length of the line? Well, I'm getting 1, 3, 200. Select the top roof line on the left side of the building. The top roof line on the... Select the top roof line on the left side of the building and hover the cursor over the... over the end point. What is the length and angle of the line? Um, I'm just going okay, bring this down here. So what's the length? Well, the length of the line is 7901 and the angle 154 degrees. Okay, so that's uh, telling us that there. All well and good. So there we go, some um, little bits of editing and what have you using the using the grips. 
So uh, quite a lot to remember there. Um, I think I, I'm not sure I've got that quite right, actually. Um, I'm just going to pop back to here and just uh, quickly um, look, delete that there. I don't think that's supposed to be there. Okay, uh, and then I'm going to come back to here. And so, oh, oh, I've forgotten to save and close the drawing. So I will do that. So a little bit of, um, yeah, stuff I'm not familiar with there, to be true. Not things that I've used, but um, certainly uh, extra stuff to be aware of with the using the grips and that. And I could see how that could save time uh, from time to time. So perhaps I need to do a little bit more work in that area um, just to... Um, get my skills to the fore and more memorable but um interesting very interesting cheers see you